Right back here, the Seth Williams Show, Chris Aiken on the CMS Network. That's uh, Chris Aiken, everything. Mob Enforcer. I'm sorry. I apologize. The <laughs> title um, on the CMS Network. That's right. Uh, make sure you are supporting the show by subscribing to the Odyssey channel. That's Just right. Go to the website, the Seth Williams Show.com. You can sign up on uh, the link there. Yeah, Four ninety nine dollars a month. That's all it's going to cost you to get extra bonus uh, stuff. And thanks to our first, what, two people that did sign up already. Yes, we do thank you. Signed up on uh, my dad and Scott. So. Well, thank you and thank you. Yes. So we have two. Well, that's two more than we had on Monday, at the beginning of sure. Monday show, so sure. we'll take it. Uh, but make sure you uh, sign up at thesethwilliamshow.com. And actually, the website looks very nice. Uh, I was there today. It looks very good. Yeah. Um. You did a good job on that, my friend. Thank you. Looks very cool. When I'm not right enforcing now, well, the mob, well, I'm doing tech stuff. Yeah, we, you are a multi-talented person. <laughs> Enforcer. That's right. Tech guy. That's right. <laughs> Pinball guy. <laughs> Pinball guy, tech guy, enforcer. That's right. Uh, <laughs> let's go to our food guy. Food guy. <laughs> That's right. Tony Masaccio. Seth, Chris, how are you guys? Hey, Tony. It, good. In our industry, we need every ears and every eyes. Even if it's Van Gogh, we'll take one ear in That's this right. industry. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I am here live at Tulum, which is located in Flinsburg, 8910 Haddon Road. It's right on the intersection of 480 and Route 82. And as you can see in the background here, this is Tulum, which is the rooms in Tulum, which is over 880 years old in Mexico at the border of. Oh, no. Oh, no. Should have good internet there. Three years old. There we can't, can't build. Uh, oh, boy. Guys, you got me? We now got you. you. I said. Here's Tulum, which is over 880 years old. We can't even build homes in America that last for 80 years. That's right. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, 880 so again, years I, ago, they didn't have internet. So maybe that's the problem. Yeah, that's a good point. You're right. I'm surprised we have the internet here, which is good. We have the internet. Yeah. Actually, if you can just look up right here, all of the art, everything that is wow. in this restaurant from the floor to the chairs, to the tables, to the bar that is built, is all imported from Mexico. It's an upscale Mexican restaurant. Seth, you're going to love this one. They are also affiliated with Cozumel. Oh, so nice. they have 15 restaurants, which are located throughout northeastern Ohio. Great restaurant. They have the patio, which is right here. And it is an outdoor patio. You can actually sit right in the chairs here on a very nice day. It's cool. And of course, they have a full liquor bar, and they have everybody knows Tony strawberry daiquiri and mango. As you can see, as you can see, I gotta plug this, right, guys? That's right. Let's get these two spaceman machines. I'm just gonna put my head right under. Can't wait till the health inspector sees this one. <laughs> Don't waste the product, Tony. <laughs> no, actually, I do need to waste the product. They hope they spill more of it. That's yeah. <laughs> exactly right. So I got to tell you a funny story. On my bottles and on my business card, it says we spill more product than our competition sells. And I got this logo when I was in Chicago and the product was being made. Now we're actually making it out of Florida. One of the vats, it was a raspberry vat. Now picture this. The vat had probably 300 gallons of raspberry. So there's raspberries, mangoes, strawberry, lime. I was going through the tour dressed up, white shirt on a tie. The vat broke on the bottom. Oh. It spilled all over. I had dots of red all over my shirt, and I was <laughs> jumping on an airplane. They must have thought I was a terrorist. <laughs> True story. So, again, I'm walking through the foyer here, guys. This is actually was made in Mexico, this mountain. Unfortunately, they can't get it running. Ah. So I think on the back of it, it says made in China. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, guys, this is really a cool place. 
So they opened up. Unfortunately, they built this place during pandemic. It was a challenge to open up. They put a lot of money. And Chris, we had talked about this yeah. a few months ago where you would ask, when is this place going to open up? Um, or are they open? How are they doing? Um, and again, you know, I'm in the restaurant industry. The challenge has been here. They are finally open. They're doing wonderful. Um, and, and they're great owners here. So it's really cool. So awesome. guys, let me just go to my table right here. We have, as always, a table full of food. Rice bowl, which has salmon in it and chicken. I have the avocado hour. And I have the chicken salad and avocado. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, and man. guess what? As you can see, the glasses that are in front of me, I've been here since 2 o'clock. <laughs> 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 and of course, i got to give myself a plug. Everybody knows Tony. Strawberry, raspberry, peach, lime, mango, pomegranate, orange cream, every flavor under the sun. You can find it at Dean Supply. Guys, I thank you for the plug. All good. Well, Tony, that place looks excellent. I think I might come over there for dinner tonight. That looks yeah, awesome. You know what? Yeah, you got to check it out. And you know, Chris, I got to tell you something. What's really cool about it is they have a great staff here. So you can sit down in the patio. I literally ordered this food and it came to me. And that's the beauty of a Mexican restaurant. It came in front of me like it's almost scary. Instantly, <laughs> I had three bowls in front of me. I don't know how they do it. So you know how they do it? Because it's already, they know what they're doing. Right. Let's put it that way. They they know what they're doing when it comes to Mexican restaurants. Obviously, rice is already pre-cooked, um, and uh, they've done a great job. Also, they have a great menu here, too, which they never shorten their menu, whether it be at Cozumel's or at this location. They also own Corona, which is located in Sagamore. And instead of shortening their menu, they kept the menu the same after the pandemic which is really cool so again guys i am here live at a restaurant as always on your show i appreciate it absolutely and chris do you have children I, uh grown but yeah okay so obviously it's a very special day for us this sunday i gotta tell you a true story okay. i was accepted to kent state university when i was 18 years old Right. And my brother bought me a box of condoms. Not like a three pack, <laughs> not like a six pack, not like 16. I mean a freaking box. I think there was like a hundred in there. All right. So I am in college. Fast forward. I get a telephone call from this young lady about 15 years ago. And she says, I don't know if you remember me or not, but I dated your brother when we were in our 20s. And I have a son who is in the hospital right now with a Mediterranean fever. My ex-husband does not have any Mediterranean in his blood line. Okay. Your brother may be my son's father. Wow. I call my brother. He's in Arizona. This lady and her son live in Florida. I tell my brother, you got to call this lady. She sends him the kit. Sure enough. He's the father, 9.9999. Okay. Now, this is the first test my brother ever passed in life. So <laughs> fast forward. Every Father's Day, now I send my brother one individual condom with written instructions. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Guys, happy Father's Day. You Tony too, Masaccio huh? reporting live at Tulum. In Twinsburg, everybody knows Tony. And let me tell you where you can see me or actually hear me every Saturday morning on Flashpoint 1490 WERE between 10 o'clock and 11. I am with the infamous, famous, my mentor, my best broadcast, one of the top broadcasters in Cleveland, Ohio, Ed Flash Ferentz. So nice. took me under his wing. And in July, I'll be with him for eight years. So awesome, Tony. guys. Great. Thank you again. I appreciate Thanks, you as always. All right, You're Tony. very welcome. Have Thank a great everybody. evening. Happy Father's Day. You too. Thank you. To all, to all the fathers. And if you don't know that you're a father, guess what? You may end up being one. <laughs> you never know. This story can happen to you. I'll see you guys. All right, Tony. Back to the studio.
Thanks, Tone. Uh, the place looks great. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I might go over there right after. The food looks amazing. But the only thing I can think about throughout that entire thing, other than the food looks wonderful, the place looks great, is, boy, he sure has a pretty mouth. Because that's <laughs> the only thing we can see. He's, oh, sorry. he's he's in witness protection. <laughs> they don't show his eyes, so you can't <laughs> identify him. Oh, God. <laughs> But yeah, that place looks fantastic. It and, does. It does and it's, look really it's, cool. It's literally five minutes from my house. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it's. I, I I drive by it all the time. All the time, I drive by it. So I didn't realize it was open until when when I asked Tony a couple what two months ago or whatever. Yeah, uh, I I like Mexican food. I've been trying to avoid it, um, because. I prefer to go to bed and stay mm-hmm. in bed. I don't want my stomach bothering me in the middle sure. of the night. Um, and then there was one place, I'm not going to mention the restaurant, but a Mexican joint. Okay. And I went to their website. We we're going to order food. And usually you get the same damn thing that we always get. Because right. it's what I like. And like I told you before, my mm-hmm. eating habits are what they are, and I get what I like. And so I went to the website, looked at it, said, yep, I'm going to get that. Same thing, normal. I call, order it, go to pick it up, and it's eight dollars more expensive than it says on the website. Oh boy! And I looked at the the girl and I was like, "What the hell is this? What do you mean?" I mean, they went literally twenty five dollars for a fifteen dollar meal or Mexican whatever Mexican meal that was normally fifteen bucks, right? And oh well, we changed our uh, our prices. Well, then you should change them on the damn website. Yeah. You don't surprise people when they show up to get food. with Here's a bill for an extra $10 almost. Yeah. Did you still pay it or did you walk? I walked. Okay, good. That's how you get them to change it on the website is by walking. Yeah. I mean, that's a, I, uh, literally I've walked. I probably walked from three different places in the past like month uh, because I refuse to pay what they're charging for the little food that they give you now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. But that place looked really good. That yeah. rice bowl that they had there looked really, really tasty. Yeah. Like I said, we got a half hour left. All right. <laughs> Tony can't be the father. His head was cut off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tony's Tony's girl needs to needs to know that you put his that you got to put his head in the middle of the screen. Don't try to wedge him into the screen. Put his yeah. head in the middle. That we're gonna get all. we're gonna get this all figured out with Tony, and it's gonna be fantastic. Eventually. We're just trying it out for eight months. Yeah, it'll be good very very soon. I, he's great, and I the session's sure. really good, and I enjoy having him at all these different places. I had yeah. no idea where he was gonna be today, so that was uh. We got to get him a tripod or something. Yeah, but he likes to walk around. Well, yeah, but you can get those like the tripod thing now that you can um, like hook to your shoulders or something, yeah, and it's like have a moving. Set. Yeah. But it moved, but it, but it's, it's also whatever you call that shake free or whatever. So that yeah. it doesn't, so it doesn't look like you're walking, you know, it doesn't look like a body cam on a, on a cop show. It, it you know, it actually looks smooth. So we got to get him one of those. I do like to say, just fun to joke. We know. What was the big announcement? We already talked about it. It wasn't anything for the show. I mean, I mean it, it is for the show. It it's is. good exposure for the show again. Um, Michael Franzese, the mafia guy, likes the show. Thought we did a great interview. Thought Chris is great, and now Chris is doing security for him. That's right. I'm yeah. now a security guard for Michael Francis for the for the famed mob guy. I mean, if we had other people on the show, the big announcement is we're going national. <laughs> Even though it is what it is. We did go national. Yeah, we have been since day, day one. one. <laughs> I was on today. Wait, let's take a quick break. All right. And then uh, we'll come back. We got a half hour to go still. Yeah, time. all good. Uh, Yellow Brick Road Auctions.com. Yellow Brick Road Auctions.com. You got to check out that website. We're going to have the owner, Melissa, on at some point. Um, but Yellow Brick Road Auctions.com. Great site. Very cool stuff. It's a very cool concept. And uh, you got to check out the website. Just go to the website and check it out. Nothing else. Check out the website. I think you're going to like it, but we'll be back in about two minutes. Hang on. 